Hi, I'm Gabby from Race Studios, and today I'll be reviewing the TT Artisan 50mm f1.2. TT Artisan sent me a pre production version of this lens for test and review. First, let's take it out of the box. The lens comes wrapped in this bag to be protected against humidity. This is entirely made out of metal and feels very solid. The lens cap is also made of metal and is screwed into the front. That's my favorite cap system. There is a 52mm filter thread at the front. We have the click aperture ring that clicks on each marking as well as on between markings. And you have this retro look design with handles that's actually very useful for tanning the ring as, and also as a guide to know where your aperture is at a glance. The focus ring turns smoothly and it offers a decent amount of resistance. Just how I like it. The scale is all with white characters. Not a big fan of this, I prefer different colors for the different metrics. But I remind you, this is a pre-production version and is subject to small changes like this. Here is the TT Artisan already mounted on my Sony A6400, so you can have a reference of the size. It balances pretty well. Keep in mind that this lens is fully manual, which means you need to dial the aperture and focus yourselves. It covers an APS-C sensor area and comes available in Sony E, Fuji X, Canon M, as well as Micro Forcer sensor cameras. Make sure to buy the right mount and when you do please use my affiliate links in the description down below you pay the same i'll get a tiny little commission whenever i get an ultra fast lens like this i'm always a little bit worried that i might be a little bit hard to manually focus when wide open but this is not the case with this lens i find it to be really easy to focus even wide open there is noticeable focus breathing which didn't really bother me, but if you plan to use this lens for stack focus photography or shooting videos, this could be a bit of an inconvenience. When it comes to image quality, this lens is exceptional. This is a pixel peeper dream. I no longer pixel peep in my videos because that's not what photography is about. But even when you just look at the photo samples, you can really appreciate how sharp this lens really is at f1.2 and in good lighting conditions, my images turn very crispy and with a lot of details. There is just a bit of softness at the very edge of the corners that quickly goes away when you stop down to f2. Anything north of f2.8 is very sharp edge to edge. So I shot most of the sample at f1.2 since the image quality really holds up. The pocket is very smooth. It renders complex backgrounds very well and have nice rounded bulky balls with soft edges. It handles flares very well too, but in high contrast situations there is a bit of drop in contrast and chromatic aberration will creep in quite significantly. Forcing you to stop down to f2.8 or higher or edit the chromatic aberration in post-production. At the time of shooting this review, the lens is not officially launched yet, but TT Artisans told me that the price will be under $100, and at that price it offers incredible value for money. Technically speaking, this lens performs like twice that price, at least, so it'll be a good opportunity for beginners to step up their photography level. Hope you enjoyed this review, and if you have, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet, and I'll catch you up on the next video.